Allied Molded is a full-service molding operation manufacturing non-metallic electrical boxes and enclosures for residential, commercial, and industrial markets. The company, based in Bryan, Ohio, needed to automate the picking of parts out of deep bins, a task Universal Robots' new Actinav system now handles. Actinav was the first system we were confident we could get in the space available without creating a bunch of extra obstacles. I have been looking at bin picking for the last 15 years. They didn't seem to have the speed that we needed, and this company has uh, looked like they have given it a good shot to get that part taken care of. The part that we're processing currently with the, the system is a round ceiling box. The robot is looking for the, the part that makes the most sense to pick up at that moment. Is it in the right configuration? Is it easy to grab? and then it has to decide which way do I turn it to place it onto the machine so the machine can accept it through the process. And so far that seems to be working well. Uh, I've been pretty impressed with the ability of the robot to pick our parts out of the bin, uh, no matter the orientation, and place them on the machine correctly. A task like that is usually pretty hard for uh, a robot to be set up to do. The placement of the part needs to be really consistent and accurate because of secondary operations, they're tapping a hole. If you had it on there backwards, you would have a part that's not quality. You'd have to reject that, so you've lost all the labor and material into that part at that point. When it came to programming, this was probably one of the easiest robots that I've ever had to program. You don't really have to have any specific numbers to put in or anything like that. You just have to move it into place, push a few buttons, and there you go. There's the program. The, the part recognition, uh, we pulled the part straight from a CAD file and it, it knew what the part was just based off of that. Uh, when it came to teaching the bin, we touched the robot to each part of the bin. And you do a few spots of that and it learns the bin itself. It took all of 10 minutes to make an adjustment. That's by far the easiest thing I've ever done. So it can run three shifts a day, four or five days a week. So that's, that reliability is like the tortoise and the hare. A human operator can be faster, but at the end, the tortoise just keep winning out because he's consistent. Traditionally, when you're working around a robot, you'll have enclosures the size of an office. Everything but a dog was in there to keep you away from the robot. This particular robot is designed to have people within the close proximity. That also lets you interact with the, the machine. That's our goal that if that machine doesn't need to run parts for 24 hours, that we should be able to move it to another machine and do the same type of operation, but just changing the program because it's a different part. Some of the other parts that we use are gonna be square and larger, but we're fairly certain that this will be able to pick up those other parts. We might potentially look into uh, if we have a failed vibratory bowl, maybe replacing it with Actinav. Well, my vision and the company's vision is you could have two or three of these in different locations and just move them as the need would be. Picture you're on the candy line with Lucille picking the chocolate drops off and tomorrow it might be candy canes or the next day it might be fruit cakes. That's the flexibility you like to see with that. Once you see the task performed and you say, well, I can do this, your mind goes, yes, I have a hundred other things that I like to try. Mm -hmm.